So in this video, I would just briefly uh, sh would like to show you the um, Ubuntu Budgie 1710 running on my Dell Chromebook 11. So when you start it for the first time, you will be welcomed with the Budgie Welcome application and it allows you to, you know, install things, learn things and get familiar with your new operating system. I done this a couple of days ago, so I have uh, most of my go-to applications installed. Things like Millspring, my web browsers, Hexjet, Telegram, simple screen recorder, which I'm using at the moment for uh, recording this uh, screencast. As you can see, I have a couple of applications running and the CPU load is was probably showing 100. Currently at a 50% and the memory is 66%. So this is a Celeron, Celeron based Chromebook. I think it's from 2013 uh, and it has four gigs of memory and a 16 gigabyte of SSD capacity. So running these applications is actually no problem at all. Mm, I think the system is quite responsive. You know, the browsers work fine. Actually, I'm recording this on my external screen, so it's connected via HDMI, uh, but it works just fine on the internal screen as well, which obviously has a little bit of a lower resolution uh, and the screen quality is not that good for a uh, affordable Chromebook. The, the first thing that, that suffers from a quality perspective is usually the screen. So when I'm at home, I, uh, I hook it up to my external monitor. So I created this video because I wrote a short blog about, you know, the fact that I'm running Ubuntu on a Chromebook. I was running uh, Gallium or Gallium OS on it first, uh, which is a uh, Xubuntu uh, derivative. So it's also Ubuntu underneath, but uh, I thought it was a bit more lightweight. So I was a bit worried about running, you know, a proper Ubuntu on it, but it works just fine. The, uh, the performance is quite reasonable. So if you want to go and read the blog, it's at a blog.rooted.eu. Uh, I'll uh, link it below. So yeah, so I have these applications running. They run just fine. I have uh, Wi-Fi, the trackpad, Bluetooth, everything working, you know, straight out of the, uh, out of the box after the, uh, the standard installation. The only thing that I have to do is remap the uh, the function keys, uh, but that was quite easy. I uh, I found a script that actually does it for you, so I, I have that linked in the uh, in the blog post as well. So as you can see, you know, starting up a new application, it's not like super super fast, but it works just fine. Uh, as you can see, it is indeed Intel Celeron based. It has two cores and they're running at 1.4 gigahertz. The system is 64 bit installed. We have 16 gigs of uh, SSD. Budgie obviously based on the latest GNOME. So yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate that it is working really, really well. In this case, it has two screens. So Telegram is on the other one. Um, the only thing that I would like to add, and I also wrote that in the blog post, is that I big, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Solus and the look and feel of Solus. With Ubuntu Budgie, the, the whole theming is a bit darker. So what I did is I basically took the settings that Solus has and changed them so that Budgie on Ubuntu looks about the same as it does on Solus. So I took the adapter. Uh, window decoration, papyrus icon theme. I changed the mouse cursor with the breeze uh, breeze cursors uh, theme. Switch these two off. And the rest of the settings are quite pretty much the default. Uh, the only thing that I don't like, which I also disabled, is this attach modal dialogues to windows which kind of it i think it kind of you know bonds windows together so if you move a sub window 
it takes the main window as well which I didn't really like so I switched that off as well and then for the panel you know just the uh, the applets that I have running so I really really like this setup as you can see the uh, the Chromebook is running at a CPU 100% CPU utilization quite a lot but yeah the performance doesn't really suffer from it normally I wouldn't be running simple screen recorder which is also quite a heavy application so yeah once I stop that the uh, the performance will be better so quick demonstration works really really well even though the the system is quite limited from a resource perspective uh, highly recommend running Ubuntu Budgie on a Chromebook